Passenger on a RE DL40 air valve. We're gonna close the isolation valve below the product, making sure the pressure is released. After pressure has been released, we're gonna open the top cover of the product and gradually thread it out. We're gonna check the integrity of the internal boring. We're gonna take out the clamping stem and the internal float and rolling seal assembly. We're gonna inspect the internal valve parts, making sure that the rolling seal assembly is not damaged or torn. If it's torn, damaged, or cracked, we'll require to slide it out from the float assembly and replace it with a new rolling seal unit. I'll take a new rolling seal unit and slide it in, making sure that the parting line on the float is aligned perfectly on the rolling seal assembly. Now we're gonna return the rolling seal assembly to the product. We're gonna take the rolling seal assembly. We're gonna position the top end of the rolling seal in the opening on the body, slide it in, and slide the two sides of the float on the body itself. We're gonna take the clamping stem unit and slide it in in the same opening. Have it, the clamping stem have it flushed to the body. We're gonna return the body to its base, making sure that the O-ring sits inside its groove correctly. We're gonna manually thread the body, securely tightening it. We're gonna open the isolation valve underneath the unit and the product is commissioned to service.